a very warm welcome to one and all. In this session of the ongoing tutorial on advanced system security and digital forensics, we are going to study experiment number two, which is vulnerability analysis or vulnerability scanning using Nikto. But before we start our proceedings, I would like to show you the disclaimer which says that whatever experiments and tutorials we are performing are solely for educational purposes and it should not be repeated for real world applications or websites. If you do so, it will solely be your responsibility and not mine. I just had to clear it away because if anything happens in the future, if you misuse the education which we are obtaining from these videos, then it's solely your responsibility and not mine or my channels. Thank you. So let's start with today's experiment, which is vulnerability scanning using Nikto. Before we actually start with the proceedings, let me uh, show you why we are using Nikto. Uh, Nikto is basically an open source tool which works both in Windows as well as in Linux. We are going to use Kali Linux as the OS in which Nikto comes bundled as a free software. So we are going to use Kali for its simplicity and its ease of use. So let's see. Uh, what Nikto can perform. Nikto is basically a scanner or a tool which has inbuilt dictionaries, inbuilt directories of vulnerabilities. For example, if your website is having some vulnerability or a web server is having some vulnerability, for example, uh, mis, uh, misdocumented databases or misconfigured ports, get and post commands, etc., server misconfigurations, cross site scripting vulnerabilities, and so on then Nikto can easily find out those vulnerabilities in a Jiffy. Whereas there might be scenarios where the developers might miss on some of the areas and few bugs remain in the web server even after it's launched. So Nikto can easily come handy because it can quite beautifully find out what are the various drawbacks or what are the various loopholes in your web server. Okay, so let's start the proceedings. These are the various steps which we should follow. Again, the steps are very straightforward and very simple. Let's see what are these in detail. So let's start my Kali machine. I have already shown you how to set up the various tools required for the experiments. If you are new to this, uh, to this scenario, you can kindly check my previous videos. I would be uh, providing the links to my previous videos also in the description box. So let's see, let's start up the machine. As we all know, the default password of Kali is T O O R, that is Tour. So let's see the very first thing which we need to do is we need to start a terminal, a terminal window, and the very first command is Nikto hyphen hyphen H, which is nothing but help. So let's see what are the various commands available in Nikto. You can see there are n number of commands, for example, db check, format, help, which we just now saw. There are Multiple other commands, for example, port, plugins, no SQL, no SSL, tuning, etc. So let's see what are these various commands one by one whenever we are starting with the experiment. Basically, we would like to use this command minus help or minus h, minus format or minus f. And on the other hand, uh, we would be using one more command which is minus o, which stands for output. So let's see how it goes. First, space Nikto. Then, this is the command which I have already saved. Let me show you one by one. Minus H, which stands for host. So whatever I'm writing after minus H is nothing but a host or a URL. Okay. So after this, we have to mention which port does it use we all know all know that http is going to use my uh, port number 80 so we have to mention it by writing minus p space 80 what it does is it creates a channel communication channel through which we can test the vulnerabilities provided through this url now again have a close look at this url it is not a regular url it is basically pointing to a website created by acunetics which is generally used for testing purposes. So this is nothing but a freely available test website which we are going to use. Again, I am mentioning it that you should not use any real world web server or real website for testing purpose as it may be termed as unethical and we are here as ethical hackers. So we are not supposed to do any unethical or black hat 
tasks okay so again go back this is the website being given to you so let's let's fire it up and see how it actually generates the vulnerabilities how it shows what are the various vulnerabilities you can see carefully this is the target ip means whatever url we are given we have given over here it is the url pointing to this particular ip address similarly it's simple concept of dns whatever name i am giving it is getting converted into a new url and here vice versa it is using port number 80 starting time according to the gmt of the server it is showing the time it will take a lot of time depending upon your net connection and the uh, strength of the server it's going to take a lot of time so you can easily go back to your work whatever you're doing and just come back after a few minutes and see if it if it's done or not okay so the same i will be doing but for simplicity purpose what we can do is we can simply press ctrl c and check whether it's working or not if you press ctrl c it will move out of the vulnerability scanning process and it will terminate this now for documentation purpose we haven't mentioned any text file or any uh, word file or such where the list of commands can be stored what i actually mean is whenever you're performing any scanning operation or any hacking purpose any any ethical hacking uh, operation you're supposed to store the contents you're supposed to store the results of the scan into a documented file such that in the future if you need to check what were the various vulnerabilities present in the system you could easily go back to the document and cross check it so for that purpose what we can do is we can simply write the same command once again we had done some mistake over here we can do the same command once again nectar space minus h followed by the url minus p port number 80 and now comes the next few commands set of commands minus o which we already saw minus o stands for output this is the name which i have given uh, to my file results minus f stands for the format of the file which I have given as text. So now what will happen is if I simply run this, it will store the file in a file called as results.txt. It will store the result of the uh, assessment which we had done just now into a file called results.txt. But I have not mentioned any path where this particular file could be stored. So for that purpose, what you need to do is you should mention the path by simply going into the directory which you which you prefer for example i'm moving to the desktop and then from there i'm firing this particular command you can see nicto minus h and the command remains the same i'm simply firing it from that particular location now let's see it will again do the same things everything will remain same the only change is whatever be the output that will be stored in a text file called results.txt it will go on until it's complete you can simply check whether that file is created or not go to the desktop and see the file is over here. what you can do is right now the file would be empty because we the process is still going on so what we can do is if we want to cross check whether the file has any content or not you can simply press ctrl c move out of the loop and again if you go back to the particular file you will see now the size is not zero bytes means there is have there is some data in it you can see whatever operations you performed it's getting stored into that particular text file this is how nifto works we can see the various vulnerabilities present in the system by going through the text file going through the documented file here you can see the vulnerabilities are the anti xss or anti cross site scripting protection header is not defined as we know that this particular website is just for testing purpose it might not be having all the uh, protection headers installed so for that purpose they have left few protection headers blank so that you can keep on testing whether a particular website is vulnerable or not similarly you can run this particular tool on any website and see whether they are vulnerable or not but for ethical reasons we uh, we are limiting it to test only on websites which offer or websites which are meant for testing purpose okay so to sum, sum it up, Nikto is basically a tool which is basically used for analyzing or scanning a web server. Getting it? Thanks.
that's all for this particular session in the next video uh, we will be learning the various tools for example vapity nessus and so on okay thank you so much